Coach Sinek, 37 road win over uh, Virginia Lynchburg today. Uh, just uh, your overall thoughts on the game? Well, you know, they did a nice job of holding on to the ball, and uh, we weren't as consistent on, on offense uh, as I would have liked. I think you're going to look at the yardage and you're going to look at the time of possession. Um, but, uh, you know, our guys were very advantageous, took advantage of some of the situations that we were in, uh, and I'm, I'm pleased to be 3-1 and, and, and find a way to win a game 30-7. to seven. Now talk about you guys came out not really any kind of rhythm at all on offense. I mean, just talk about, talk about that first quarter especially and, and the things that you, you kind of did to well, change Well, no, it was up. just poor, and we, we got ourselves in offsides. We got ourselves a, um, a delay of game because of personnel. Uh, just a poor way, not very focused on our part. Uh, we got to do a better job of coming out and uh, getting to go from the get go uh, to give ourselves an opportunity. And then I think they understood the urgency of it, uh, and the second quarter was much cleaner. Uh, came out in the third quarter, I think did some pretty good things. Uh, and then, you know, had some injuries that kind of took us uh, took us away a little bit from our game plan. Uh, speaking of injuries, got to ask you about this. Luke Charles goes out late in the game, fairly got hit in the back a little yeah. bit. Uh, just talk about his injury, how long you expect him to. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I think if we're not up, he had a chance to go back in. Um, we, we, we went ahead and iced him, stuck it down. We were in good position. Um, you know, I, I, I don't see any issue with that. Um, you know, and, and then the others, we just got to wait and see until we get to uh, get back. Obviously, they had a lot of time of possession in this game, but your defensive effort was pretty solid. Today. Yeah, defense played very well. I think they, I think they're going to look back and they're going to go. There's six plays that we should have had, and there's six plays that we didn't play well on. Uh, but other than that, these guys, you know, Lynchburg found a way to get some first downs and keep the ball for a little bit, and that's what they do. They're holding the ball 33 minutes against North Carolina Central or North Carolina A&T. So, uh, I mean, they're going to do the same thing against us. Uh, a couple individual efforts to throw out today. Uh, Val Williams gets you going on the touchdown in the second quarter. Uh, matched a school record, matched L.J. Johnson's uh, three-year-old career touchdowns record. Mm -hmm. Just talk about T. Val's performance uh, uh, pretty much th through the season. So oh, no, he's been fantastic. Very excited about how he's playing, what he's doing, uh, the way he's catching the ball, the way he's walking. He's playing the most plays of any wide receiver that we have. Uh, so very excited about him and, and really happy for him. Didn't know that, uh, but that, that's a great accomplishment. Now, other, other side of the ball, Darkus Elliott pretty much uh, kind of a leader in your defense today. He had a match the score record with 19 tackles today. Well, I know there were a lot of opportunities. So, um, I mean, he, he is always seems to find a way to be around the ball. You know, uh, somebody has had to step up uh, when Fred got injured. So in order to have Darkus playing well, in order to have uh, Preston Perry playing well and Kadarius Mason, I think that worked out well for us. Uh, now talk about going home next week. Obviously, you guys like playing at home. Uh, just as tough an opponent next week. Though. Sure. No, uh, Catawba, you know, Catawba took it to us last year for three quarters. We, came, we made a little comeback in the fourth um, against them, but uh, they beat us. So we've got our hands full. We, we've got to play much better football than we played today.